Hi guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to talk about three different debug messaging possibilities in C++. So let's get started. But before we go into C++, let's have a look at Blueprints first. You all that have been using Blueprints might be familiar with the print string node that displays text on the screen with a certain duration and color, and you can choose print to screen or print to log. And like it says here, it's development only. So it's only in development builds and you can add a string and print that on the screen and to the log. And of course you can see this is from the Kismet system library. And that means you can also call this from C++ because this is a C++ function that Blueprints calls. So let's head over to C++ and see how we can call this function. So let's create a string first. Let's call it debug string. And let's say, let's put in, this is a debug message. And like we've seen, this print string function is called from the ukismet system library. And we will call print string. And you can see here that most of the kismet libraries are in the kismet directory and then the h file. So kismet system library, or you've seen the string library, text library, they're all in this directory. So we need to include this to be able to call this function. So what does this function need? When we have a look at the parameters, we need a world context object, so the world, then we need to pass in the string, then the bool print to screen, print to log, the color and the duration. The same as you've seen in here, that we need a string, the screen, the log, text, color, and duration. And the world is something that Blueprints handles internally, but that we in C++ need to pass. So we would type get world. Then we need to pass in the debug string. And then you can see, actually, we don't have to type much else because this function uses a lot of default parameters like print to screen is default to true, print to log is default to true, the text color is that, I don't know, that cyan, whatever color, and the duration is set to two seconds. So we could actually leave it like this and call it, or we could specify our parameters, say, true for the screen, true for debug log, and then say f linear color and use, for example, one of their constants, like let's say red. Let's break this up as you can see better. And then let's have a duration of five seconds, for example. And let's compile. So we're using our text widget that once we click the button, this print string appears. So it compiled, let's head over to our editor, hit the execute button and you can see up here, this is a debug message in red. And once we click more, we can kind of like put these debug messages in there. This is the same thing like in blueprints where we'll call this, but this is a really big expensive function so let's have a look in here, Kismet system library, what this does. So this is what it's called. It checks the world in the beginning, then checks print to log, print to screen, and does different things based on, on that. What would we do if we just want to print out to our debug log or pr only print to the screen? And so, there are two possibilities that we can use is the UE log is a macro that puts debug messages into the log. If you don't know where it is and you can go under window developer tools and output log and put that maybe in here. And you can see from what we did is this is a debug message that we printed out using the print to log check mark 
So we print it to screen and print it to log. But what if we only want to print it to the log? So let's have a look. We use the UE log macro. And you can see that print to log, it also uses the UE log macro inside. So what we would do here is we need a text. But first we need to, of course, specify a log category. I will cover a separate video on later on down the road on how to create your own kind of log categories and stuff. So we will use the default log temp for now. Then what we can do is specify the verbosity. So that means like, is it a warning, an error, an info and so on. So what we would use is a warning, for example, that's how I use it most of the time, warning or error. That means the color of the text changes in the output log. What you've seen here is that it's gray. It's your default info or normal messaging. But in some other cases you've seen down here that it's green or there's some red and so on. So we could use the warning for yellow and say this is a debug message using UE log. And the cool thing about UE log is it has similar functionality to the printf that we covered. So you could actually add in placeholders like this is a putting in the float and or let's say a D for integer. And behind the text, you can add then variables like 17, for example, or other stuff that you Defined. So you can use the UE log similar like the printf with all with these placeholder parameters like you've seen in the printf function. But we are just printing out a simple text message, hitting compile, going over to our editor. Let's right click in here and say clear log. It clears the log. Ah, okay. Let's close this, put it in here and open up window developer tools, output log so that we have it here clear log, hit play, we can clear again, execute, and then you can see it here. This is a debug message using UE log. It's a warning from log temp. So this is how the UE log works. I can stop. And similar thing is if we have a look at what the Kismet system library does, it uses for on screen, it uses the G engine class to add on screen debug message. And this is what we are doing here as well. So let's use this. We check if G engine, it's a global variable. If G engine is valid, then we can say G engine and add on screen debug message. This has some different parameters, like you see key, time to display, display color. So key in this case is not that important. So usually you put in minus one. Then let's say 5.f for five seconds. And we check the color and say red, for example, and then add our debug string, for example. And this is how you would add the screen debug message. Basically what the print string function does in its own way with all the testing and offering log and screen debug messaging in one function call here, you can use the UE log for debug logging in the output log and use the G engine add on screen debug message to put some messages into the viewport. So let's compile this, head over to Unreal, hit play, clear log. So you can see debug message is on the viewport and in the UE log. So this is how you do debug messaging with C++. You can use either the print string method or in many cases I use uelog for debugging and in seldom cases the screen debug message to display stuff. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.